Man, I'll tell you. Good morning, good morning. Hey, I see people in the club. They text me now. Yeah, that was me shot, man. Matter of fact, let me take the stuff off. Oh, man. Man, I tell you. Ah, this was a good morning, I guess. The sun's just now coming up over those pines. Um, sitting here in the desk stand, freezing a little bit, freezing. My son, he's out hunting with me. And uh, I think it's about two more people in the club out here this morning. But uh, let me show you guys what I got. Hey, I got that oldie, but goodie. I mean, that 270 Model 70. I'm shooting 130 grain. Uh, core lock bullet and let me see so this is right here I got you know little corn cobs there but back there in the back man that pine tree is right back there I can see horns coming through and then it disappeared so I, I hit my uh, my buck cart twice and I just you know, took my eyes off for a minute. And I mean, I just so happened to look back up and that tree right here in the front, I can see some movement right back there. And I looked, he caught I me, mean, he was coming right in. Not a big buck, I think it's a young buck, but still, I'm going, he going to eat good just like a big buck, man. But uh, let me show you guys, man. The sun is just now peeking up over the the trees back there in the back over this big um, clear cut. This is like a 200 acre clear cut that I'm hunting over right here. But man, <clears throat> this is the uh, grunt that I used this morning. This right here is the uh, extinguisher. I heard somebody else just shoot over there. But, uh, man, it worked good. You know, it got the uh, fawn, doe, and buck uh, on it. And it's an easy slide mechanism right there. And, I mean, I just hit that, that buck. <laughs> and like I said, I took my eyes off for it for a minute. And I just so happened to look back up. And I seen horns. And I, <laughs> I heard up because I had my gun laying right here. I heard up. And pick the gun up and put it on fire. And I watched him come through, come through. And well, I can't remember because it happened so fast. I think I made a, a straight chest shot straight through. And a 130 grand bullet. I mean, he, he dropped right there. I don't, he didn't even kick. So there shouldn't be no trailing whatsoever here, baby. This is definitely not in the face on this one. Still a little shaky, man. I've been hunting since I've been eight years old. And it never fails. Every time you shoot... A deal, man. You that drilling rush plus I'm cold too, but oh man, this was a good one. This was a good one. And say I, my buddy Jason, he texts me now. Was that me shoot? Yeah, buddy, that was me, baby. Back straps is gonna be ready. So I'm gonna sit here just a little while longer, and uh, I got my truck right about 150 yards down on the main road. And uh, I'm gonna see if when he's get when he gets done, if he come pick me up on his side by side. I didn't bring my four wheeler. It's a tripod stand. We want to get out of here today for my wife and move it to a different property. But man, thank you guys for tuning in. I'm livid right now. Cloud nine, baby. Uh, what is uh, November the fifth today? Man, I got. Let me show you guys. I also got this right here. I didn't use it this morning. I was about to. But, uh, yes, sir, that Primo's, that can, yeah, man, she works really good. I didn't kill many. Oh, man. Make me feel like I'm in rut, like my neck gonna swell up. That's what I'm talking about. But, man, the Robins, you can hear the Robins, it's a beautiful morning. I mean, no wind. It's cold up here. Like I said, Nate Hunter and, uh, I couldn't ask for a better morning, man. I just hope my son can get a shot. He got a, about four or five does coming in there where he's at. And the bucks, they, they're coming late at night. 
But uh, I'm going to let him hunt. And while I do everything else I need to do and make sure and pick him up last. Man. I should have brought my buddy heater up here with me. But I'm sitting, like I said, in this two-man stand. I'm about 20 foot, about 20 foot off the ground. But uh, I do see some things that I'm going to get done. Let me show you guys this one more time. So I plan on getting my buddy to come in with a tractor. See that little dark spot right in there behind that uh, that pine right there. I think that's where the deer is. But I'm going to get my buddy to come in with his tractor and see if he can push and open that whole piece up on, that, on the edge of that tree line right there to the left. Because, I mean, you really can't see that tall grass, you guys. You really cannot see a deer coming through there and it was just by luck I seen his horns back there and then hit the ground I mean he just beeline straight up you know I guess but uh yeah it's gonna be a work in progress we're gonna get this thing done and um whenever I decide to get down I'll tune back in with you guys so man I feel good hey for time being I'm out I just climbed out of the stand. <sighs> Ten minutes after eight. Uh, I think I estimate that shot to be probably about seventy yards. It was it wasn't a, a long shot, but that's the stand I was in right there this morning. So I will say just overlooking this big clear cut. So, man. All of this. That's some uh, coon trap right here. Yeah. But look at the corn on the cob, man. They just been destroying this. Just done. They go through like a 50 pound bag of corn on a cob in two days. Look at that. Look like something was fighting. Right here. Man, there's so many deer tracks. Oh my goodness. Oh, I see an ear. Look like a, an ear right there. Like, yeah, I gotta bring some more corn in here. Man, all the coon tracks in here too, great. Oh man. Oh man. He is down for the count. That 270. Put him down. This is the same deal my buddy Jason, who on the way to come get me, said that uh, I had just passed his stand. So let me see if I can zoom in here. There we are, stand I was in. So yeah, I give it about 75 yard shot, maybe. Yeah. Like I said, not a big horn deer. Cause I can't eat horns. I'm definitely not worried about no horns. Worried about meat. So this is gonna make for a really good deer. Like I said, shot right in that shoulder. And right where I was aiming is right where that bullet went. So like I say, right on that tree line, it's pine trees, man. I seen, like I said, see the tip of his horns right back there. And I just lost sight of him. I hit the grunt call like three times. And uh, I mean, I looked up and he was, I mean, right here. Like, so I just got up, got the gun ready and let him walk on down a little bit. And this is where he is. This is where he lay. So, down for the count. Man. I tell you, good morning. I haven't heard my son shoot or nothing, so he's just texting himself. He got some squirrels and 
doves and quail in front of him. But I'm finna get ready to walk out of here, I guess. Go get the uh, my truck and see about getting him on out. So you guys stay tuned in the face, baby. Well, hey, I got him loaded up on the truck. I hear Jason coming on the side by side. Let me jump down. Yeah. There you go. Loaded up on the truck. Good to go. Like I said, this is probably one, like I said, a management buck, like people say. He probably wouldn't have made a big buck anything. Just would have got a bigger body. But, hey, it's going to work out when he hit the pot, baby. So, just put corn out again. I mean, these guys are eating a 50-pound bag of corn in two days easy. So I'm going to try to get my buddy here with his tractor to kind of open this up a little bit more. I mean, just kind of flatten and run that down here. But it's going to work out good. I'm almost out of breath. You don't know how much you're out of shape until you have to pull a deer out of the woods. And like I say, you see, he wasn't a big deer, but mine. But you guys stay tuned. Thank you for all the support in the face.